Hey everyone, Scoop Science here. I received two comments, one from Brian and the other from Jod. They both challenged me to explain how gravity works. Now, gravity in my eyes isn't quite, or hasn't been quite explained properly by science at all, so we're not quite sure how it works. But here I've got set up a nice little um, demonstration or a way of showing how it may work. And I've got here it's a little box full of marbles. So I'm going to demonstrate with three different types of marbles. This one here will represent the sun, this will represent earth, and this will represent the moon. Now they're definitely not to scale because the earth is not as big as that compared to the sun. But essentially what this is, this is just a um, like a washing basket with a sheet over it. And this is essentially space-time, only one plane of space-time, might I add. Um, there's multiple planes and it kind of like wraps around objects um, as far as I'm concerned, from my understanding. But basically, matter bends space, so it warps space-time. For instance, if I were to put the sun there, you can see it bends it in. So that's essentially what gravity is doing. So if you have, say, a bowl on an inclined plane, you'd put it up the top and then you drop it, the um, bowl is going to roll down. So that's essentially what that's doing. You put something here, see that? It's attracted to it. And because all matter has gravity, every bit of matter puts a slight dent on space-time. Um, say it's not enough, say just this marble here, real time, this has a dent in space-time, but it's not enough to like attract, um, say this, this marble here, see it doesn't it doesn't move because it's just not a greater enough impact and that it doesn't warp space-time enough. Yeah, so I have so I have this sun here now. If I just put the Earth there, see that it just it gets attracted to it, and that's about it. But if I were to give a little spin, you can see it's not a great representation on this. But that is essentially orbiting, orbiting. I give it maybe a harder push or it can't quite get around but that's orbiting for you it's just the the force of the earth is is that way and then the gravity is kind of that that's how satellites orbit earth cuz satellites are always falling towards earth but the horizon never catches up and cuz they're just spinning around and uh they're not feeling a force of gravity, they are just responding to the curvature in space-time. And now, I hope this works. I actually might want to get a heavier weight. Actually, I'll just push this down a bit. So there we go. Okay, I hope this works, but the reason why I've got then the moon is because if you put two, um, two marbles there and you spin them, you can see it's starting to hopefully you can see it on camera but this moon actually starts to orbit earth as well because earth as well has its own um, little dent in space time so hopefully you can see that yeah that was a good one so that's how the moon orbits earth as well So. That is essentially uh, how the, the understanding of how gravity works. So that's visualizing how gravity works on a very, very basic level. Um, but there's also one other thing that, that I want to see if I can try. I'll see if I can tighten this. But gravitational waves is something that has been discovered recently. Um, and what are they exactly? Well, the, the way they were discovered, there were two black holes and they were spinning around each other really like I'm talking super fast because anything slow um, it won't really show up but they were orbiting really fast and they actually had gravitational waves so they were doing this but if you if I just say I just drop this marble on it um, it's a bit fast to see but there's actually a wave so like say dropping a, a pebble in a lake you see 
like a ripple, the ripple effect, that's essentially what gravitational waves are. It's just because they were orbiting really fast around each other, they were creating they were creating waves in the space time and scientists measured that for the first time ever recently. And that's what Einstein predicted. So that's actually really cool. So yeah, I uh, hope that little demonstration of how gravity works was correct um, to a certain point and I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks again to Jod and Brian for giving me those comments and I'll see you in the next video